good morning. Um, are you watching me on your IED phone? It's an IED phone. Is that a new brand? Well, <laughs> it's a new desc uh, description, perhaps, of uh, the cell phone, smartphone type of thing. IED, if you don't understand that, means uh, improvised explosive device. And if you're aware of what's going on over there with Lebanon and Hezbollah, uh, with Israeli intelligence, um, hacking into these pagers and blowing them up remotely, um, there are two theories about how that could work. Number one would be that Israel set up a dummy company that they bought these pagers from a company in Taiwan that produced them, rigged them with C4 explosive, small amounts of it, and then sold them under a dummy company through, that came out of Hungary or something like this, is how the story is partly going there. Um, that's a possibility, that they're just rigged explosive device. Of course, uh, different intelligence agencies have done this down through the years. The, one of the most famous examples is the CIA created exploding cigars and sent them to Fidel Castro, <laughs> hoping that he would smoke them and then they could, it would detonate or something and kill him. Um, that's been done for a long time, dummy explosive devices, improvised explosive devices, but ones that look like something and they actually are set to explode. So there is that. That's one possibility. The other possibility would be that the Israeli intelligence with these pagers in Lebanon um, somehow hacked into them because they're wireless. Anything wireless can be hacked into. And they hacked into them and they somehow caused a malfunction or something of, that caused the batteries to overheat and the batteries exploded. Um, either one is bad, okay, because if you buy an electronic device and you're carrying it on your person all the time and it has wireless capability, um, if it's one that's specifically designed with C4 in it and they want to eliminate you for some reason, boom, you get blown up. Um, or if Option number two, if they can hack into it and cause the battery to explode, the lithium battery to explode, they can get you that way. So either way, it's not good. Um, and I just want to challenge you out there, my viewers, I've been very hard on the whole thing of cell phones and trying to say that, you know, cell phones are not good. They emit a harmful electromagnetic field. They can listen in on you. The NSA can hack into those things and they can listen in on your conversations and whatever else. Um, I just, I'm very radically opposed to the whole thing. And of course, during the scandemic years, they were used to track people and trace people. And Do you have the green pass? Have you been vaccinated? The whole thing, which again is a loss of freedom. I don't agree with that. Um, I'm very much opposed to that as well. So I just want to challenge my viewers out there. Um, I know some of you, you know, you'll make your excuses. Well, I have to have it and whatever else. Okay. Uh, if you're carrying the thing around on you, you know, um, they could be using it as an explosive device. And, you know, if you have it on your leg or your back pocket or something like that, um, that could be pretty tragic. So, uh, my desire is yes to preach the gospel i'm a christian preacher if you're watching this um i have the vast majority of my studies are about the bible different bible related subjects and whatever uh things that you'll never hear in church buildings um that's been the the main push of my ministry but there's another aspect to this ministry and that is to hinder he who nelleth will let until he be taken out of the way i'm supposed to hinder that's what the word let means in the King James Bible. Hinder the Antichrist system from coming in. And there is no question in my mind that cell phones have a part, part in the Antichrist kingdom because they want surveillance. It's all about dependence. You have to become interdependent. Independence is not what they want. The Antichrist can't control the whole world. The whole world is supposed to worship the beast and his image and take the mark. Um, that's what the Bible predicts in the end times. We are in the end times. That system is being set up. You can see it plainly. And so the thing that you want to do is you want to do whatever you can to remain independent. And you having something on you that is tracking you like an animal 
um, that's not a good thing. You know, over here in this tree right here, I don't know if you can hear him right, yeah, right there. Little black capped chickadee right up there. There he goes flying. Um, is he trackable? No. Does he need a smartphone? <laughs> no. Um, he goes about and he's right now he's getting up in the morning and he's saying, okay, sun's coming up over there. Looks like it should be a nice day today. And I wonder where I could find some seeds or some bugs or whatever. Um, that's what he's thinking about. And I realize that we, as people, we need to think about a little bit more than that. I have to think about getting out of the office and getting some work done and whatever. But um, that little bird, he trusts that God will provide for his needs. And he doesn't have to have something to track and trace him. That little bird would not enjoy that very much. And um, I'm a little bit of a wild creature myself, I guess, because I don't like to be tracked and traced either. And I want to come out here and I don't want people telling me what to do on my own land. And I want to stay independent of the system as much as possible. And I'd like to encourage you out there to do the same. Um, you know, anything in life, you're going to have pros and cons. I'm for this. I'm against this. This is a good point. This is a bad point. Um, it's It would be useful for this, but it would be bad for that or whatever. Okay? Um, we all understand that. And for me, I understand the pros of having a cell phone with you, a smartphone that you can look up things and whatever whenever you need to. You can watch my videos whenever you feel like watching it. I get it. I understand. But uh, to me... This whole improvised explosive device thing, if they can hack into your phones um, and blow them up, uh, I don't really want something like that around me. Okay? Uh, that's a little bit, bit dangerous. You say, what, well, Brother Brian, you're not a target for the Israeli uh, intelligence services or whatever. Uh, I don't know about that, but, you know, okay, I'm not a military target. Let's just go with that for a minute. How many times has the military leaked things to terrorist organizations? All of a sudden terrorists, you know, end up with, uh, you know, suitcase nukes or some kind of other thing that came from the military. Um, they want order out of chaos, so you give it to civilian type of things. And young people here in America, young black uh, boys in America, and they have fully automatic Glocks. How do they get those Glock switches? See, militaries will give civilian populations things to create chaos what if terrorists all of a sudden um islamic terrorists or something get a hold of these the technology the way to hack into people's cell phones and they look for people that are christians and they start to set these things off you say well, that's not possible <laughs> anything is possible in this world all right um well i just have to rely on the lord to protect me oh okay all right um but, uh, you know, I moved out here many years ago um, from a more populated area in Pennsylvania. I looked for an area that would be safe because I knew that things were going to get worse in the future. And um, you have to take certain action, physical action sometimes. You can't just say, well, the Lord will provide, the Lord will take care of me, the Lord this and the Lord that. Um, it's good to trust in the Lord, but brethren, you know, Trusting in the Lord, yes, that's the most important thing. But what I'm saying is the Lord expects you to do some things on your own. You can't just put it all over on the Lord and say, I'm not going to work for a living and I won't bother cooking food or bathing or something and God will take care of me. No, there's some things that you have to do. And so if you can see that there's a danger in having a cell phone, a smartphone, um, I would just kind of try to get that thing away. All right? You go out someplace... Um, if you're going to have a cell phone or a smartphone, leave it someplace. You're going to have it, uh, leave it in your vehicle or something like that. Don't carry it on your person. Um, just word to the wise. If you can receive it, then receive it. If you don't want it, then don't take it and don't listen to me and just call me a nut. So that's going to be it. Um, thank you for watching and we'll keep an eye on this thing and see how it develops. Um, just going to have to see what happens with it. If it starts to hit in other countries, then I think you should probably say, okay, time to abandon ship with this 
carrying electronic stuff around, anything with wireless capability. They can, you know, radios or, or anything that uh, Wi-Fi or cell phone type of stuff or whatever. Anything that could be accessed wirelessly. Uh, get away from it. That's my advice.